Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstadt. I have been fighting a migraine since last night. Um, I actually went and laid down about nine o'clock last night. Didn't go to sleep until like 11, but my voice is a little rough today. I am not feeling good. My even being in here with this light on, I just want to, I just want to turn it off. Um, that's why I don't have a video going up today. I was editing one yesterday. My eyes started to bother me really bad. I do wear glasses at my computer. I don't need them for regular vision and stuff like that. I need it for distance. So um, I figured this would be a good time to try these samples that I had gotten from Ulta because it does have lavender in it and lavender is like relaxing and it's supposed to help with, you know, at least I know for me it helps with headaches along with uh, rose. Rose and lavender usually are the two things that I, I go to when it comes to uh, trying to get rid of a headache. So I got these in, I think my last Ulta purchase, I have a couple more like sample packs like this to try. This one is Orchid. I've got this one I need to try too. And I've got a couple like small bottles I'm just dropping everything now. Um, so I'm not as peppy or pizzazzy or coherent today as I usually am. So please forgive me for that. Now, I cut this off at the top right above where like the, the lavender is thinking, okay, that'd be a good spot to cut it. Not realizing, hello, look at the back. But again, my head was pounding and I didn't want to fight with it. So on the back, Thankfully, I cut it in between the lines, but on the conditioner, I didn't do such a good job cutting it. So I wanted to talk about this product. Um, I'd never even heard of the brand before. The brand is called Love Beauty Planet and Planet. And these are the smooth and serene shampoo and conditioner that has argan oil and lavender. Now, I thought the little packaging was gorgeous. And when I first opened it, I smelled it. And I definitely got lavender out of it. But it's like a sweet lavender smell. So you get the argan oil fragrance that meshes with the lavender and it just smells, it just smells relaxing. It is a little perfumey kind of, and I was worried that that would cause my, my allergies and my headache to get worse. But um, thankfully I didn't, I didn't have that problem. Um, I didn't record this video last night again because of the headache and I wanted to see if the fragrance that I had in my hair during my shower and after my shower when I brushed it out last night before I went to bed if that fragrance would carry over into my hair today and I do smell it in my hair even down at the very ends of my hair I can smell light hints of lavender in it now up top, I don't smell the lavender as much, but you also figure that this is what was on my pillow all night. But about right here on my hair is where I start to smell the lavender in my hair. And my hair is quite long. Um, I haven't brushed my hair since I got up at, I woke up at eight this morning and my, my head has just been wah, wah, wah. So um, I haven't brushed my hair yet. So I wanted to do that. But I was looking at this, I'm like smooth and serene. Okay, I get this, the serene part and argan oil, I do use it every, every time I usually shampoo, but I didn't put anything in my hair after shampooing and conditioning with this. I did use about half the, the package. There's about half of the product left, which is about this much. That's as much as I have left. And I could have used the whole packet. I did wash my hair twice with it. It does not suds very much, but that's fine. I'm used to products that have no SLS in them and those products don't really sense that much. Now, it says on the back, it's kind of interesting. It's the very top says, calm your frizz for hair. Uh, that's oh so smooth. The shampoo infused with golden argan oil nourishes for healthy looking hair, delicately surrounds your hair in a cloud of heirloom French lavender. And then it says, um, that's the beauty part of it. And then it says, because it says beauty right here at the very top. And then the next thing it says planet. 
It says, we are committed to acts of love that make you and our planet a little more beautiful every day. Find out how at lovebeautyandplanet.com. And it says how to use. This was probably the funniest thing I have ever seen on a, a product because everybody knows how to use shampoo and conditioner. Uh, at least you learn how to use it when you're young and then as you grow up. I mean, it's kind of like the idiot's guide to shampooing your hair. So on here it says how to use. You know it. Squeeze, lather, rinse, go easy on the top. Now that's one thing I didn't understand, and I'll get into that with the, when I talk about the conditioner. But it says, uh, there's a whole bunch of like yeses and nos on the back. And it says, yes to organic coconut oil, natural organ oil, ethically sourced lavender, safe for color treated hair, vegan, and with plant-based cleansers and not tested on animals. And then it says, no silicones, parabens, dyes, or guilt. So I was like, okay, it is supposed to be um, good for your hair. And when I got to looking at the ingredients, there is sodium laureth sulfate in here. And some people do have sensitivity issues and problems with it desensitizing them and causing them to have reactions to it. Now this isn't sodium laurel sulfate, which is quite caustic. So um, I pulled it up on the website. Uh, it's either eight or 16 ounce bottle of this stuff cost $8.99 and for a shampoo and conditioner, because they're both $8.99, I thought that was a pretty good price because I can buy a Garnier Fructis bottle at Walmart for like, I think the 24 ounce bottles that I buy is like $16. So, it and that's the Argan one. This says, Love Beauty and Planet Argan Oil and Lavender Smooth and Serene Shampoo calms your frizz for hair that is oh so smooth. The smooth and serene shampoo is infused with organic coconut oil and argan oil that gives you healthy looking tresses for smooth frizz, frizzy hair uh, and smooths frizzy hair. Excuse me, can't read. This anti-frizz shampoo will delicately surround your hair in a cloud of heirloom French lavender. Love Beauty and Planet is committed to acts of love that make you and the planet a little bit a little more beautiful every day. Their goal is a carbon footprint so small that it's like we they weren't even here. They started their journey loading their beauty products with goodness. Every one of our bottles is made from 100% recycled materials and are recyclable, which I like. And then the ingredients for the shampoo has water, sodium laureth sulfate, um, and then it's got you know other cleansers and stuff in there, sodium chloride, lavender oil, uh, argan kernel oil, coconut oil, uh, and then it has uh, gly glycol, distirate, perfume, sodium benzenate, citric acid, polyquantarnum 10, co cocamide, PPG 9, disodium EDTA, citronel, citronella, coumarin, uh, co limonene, and linalol. So some of those ingredients I'm very familiar with. The last four I'm not, so I was gonna have to look those up. But on the conditioner side of things, it says basically the same thing, calm your frizz, blah, blah, blah. And then on here, it says how to use. You know it, after shampooing, spread through your gorgeous wet locks, avoid the roots, rinse and go easy on the top. That's one thing I didn't understand. Why would you not put conditioner on your scalp? I have dry skin everywhere. Like my entire body from head to toe is dry. So I normally do put conditioner on my scalp and then you know you massage it through your hair. I, that's one thing I can't understand with this product is why you would avoid your scalp area because I don't know about you, but my hair gets frizzy up here. Now again, like I said, I have not brushed my hair since I woke up. I brushed it when, I, when it was first wet, but my hair doesn't look this good until like two days after I shampoo my hair or I put a ton of product in it and I don't have any product in my hair. And like I said, I do use argan oil in my hair. These are, I'm knocking stuff over. These are the two oils that I put in my hair. Um, this has avocado, olive, and almond oil in it. This one has uh, argan oil in it. So I do use oils. And on top of that, let's see if I can get to my big bottle without knocking, oh, knocking more stuff over. I just took the lid off. 
When my hair is like super out of control, wet or dry, I will spray, spray this in my hair. Now, this is not a Caucasian type product, but I don't care, my hair isn't normal. Um, this is soft and beautiful. This is the Sheen Spray. This has olive, argan, and coconut oil in it. And I buy the big bottles because it takes me about a year to go through one of these, but I love this stuff. The other oil sheen spray that I used to use, um, they discontinued it. So when I found this one, I tried a couple of them first and they didn't work as well. Some of them like do leave your hair looking greasy. This one I can spray it straight on my scalp and it's fine. So I don't have to worry about it. And you can put it in wet hair, dry hair, styling hair, you know, that kind of stuff. So I liked, I, I don't know, I like the smell of the product. I like how it worked in my hair. I like how I don't have like uncontrollable frizz in it. And you can see, I don't color my hair. My hair is natural. You can see all my pretty little gray streaks. I have like a whole spot right here that's nothing but gray hair. And I think they're pretty. So the conditioner is in partnership with somebody. It says, Love Beauty and Planet Argan Oil Lavender Smooth and Serene Conditioner calms your frizz for hair that's oh so smooth. The smooth and serene conditioner is infused with organic coconut oil and argan oil that gives you healthy looking tresses and smooths frizzy hair. This anti-frizz conditioner will delicately surround your hair in a cloud of heirloom French lavender. Love Beauty and Planet supports a small act of change, acts of change makers who cherish the beauty of our planet through their partnership with akoshka.org. H O K A dot org. And I will leave this linked in the description box after this publishes. And again, it's got the, the standard ingredients on here, which, you know, is fine. So the last test that I want to do with it, because I have very thick, coarse and naturally wavy hair is I wanted to brush it out and see if my hair frizzes out or not. Because usually if I brush my hair when it's dry, it looks like I stuck my finger in a light socket. And if this keeps my hair from looking like super frizzy, I might buy a, a big bottle of it and try it. And they've got a bunch of different other fragrances and stuff too. I don't need volumizing conditioner and I don't, you know, yeah, granted my scalp is dry, but my hair doesn't, it's not usually dry. And my hair is like super soft. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the other half of my hair. So we have brushed out, not brushed out. Granted it smoothed out some of my waves, but it's not going like poof like it normally would, which is nice. And I know I'm wearing, I'm wearing a black t-shirt, so here, I'll hold it up against the white shower curtain. Oh, there's some of my wave. But I just, I don't know, I really like how it works. Let me brush the other side now. It's not my day. I'm dropping things. I've, I still have two things on the floor behind me. microphone. <laughs> You've officially been de, de uh, snarled. Does your hair feel smoother now? <laughs> I am brushing this and over directing it and whatnot to see what it'll do. Because again, you, people with texture in their hair, you really shouldn't mess with it when it's dry because it will freak out. Because you figure when your hair is wet, your hydrogen bonds break in the hair and it allows it to be more movable. But when your hair is dry, it's kind of like locked into that position until you get it damp again. It's not, it's not causing my hair to frizz at all. I mean, I have some like little frizzy pieces, but I always have little frizzy pieces somewhere. And if I wanted to like tamp that down, I could always put some oil on my hand and then smooth it through my hair, or use my oil sheen spray. But for the most part, 
Let me put you down a little bit. There's my roll cart. My hair isn't frizzy. It It's a little bit at the end. It got a little bigger at the end. But I'm sure after I stop messing with it, it'll stop being pissed off and calm back down. That and it's, it's rained most of today. It rained most of yesterday and it's actually chilly outside. So you would think if I'm going to have like frizz and stuff like that, it would be like right now when it's, it was 83 degrees yesterday. It's probably about 60 degrees outside right now here in Florida and it's raining. So normally my hair like freaks out with the weather. I've got a little bit of frizz going on, but nothing too bad. I mean, look at that. Even with using oils and stuff in my hair, I don't ever have hair this smooth. So I'm really liking that. And I've got one more shampoo and condition worth in the product. You know, I've got a little bit left in each packet. So I will, since I just washed my hair last night, I'll go another you know, I usually wait every two days and I wash my hair. So I will use this again and see how it does. And if I really like it, it'll, it'll, it's already on my wish list on Ulta. And a lovely subscriber of mine just sent me an Amazon gift card. So if I can find them on Amazon and find their products on Amazon, I might just pick it up there. Cause you figure nine bucks each for a shampoo and conditioner on, on Amazon. Um, that's not bad. Hopefully it's the same price on Amazon as it is on Ulta because I, I know that you can find some brands on Amazon and the prices are like 25% more than they are from the actual retailer. And that always annoys the piss out of me. But anyways, I'm really liking how this works in my hair and I love, it's, it's like a nice, fresh, clean fragrance with like a hint of sweet and a hint of lavender. And the sweet is from the argan oil. And it's, it's like very faint. I, I don't smell it when my hair is like down, but I do smell it like if I stick it up to my nose. So, and I have a, a really good sense of smell. So if my hair is down like this, or even in a ponytail, I don't smell it. It's like when the wind catches it just right, or I like do this, that I actually smell it. Other than that, I don't smell the fragrance in my hair at all. So if you are sensitive to fragrance or you have problems with fragrance, then this shouldn't be a bother, but it was quite strong in the shower. So I will tell you that now. Holy crap. Uh, Channel 9 just popped up on my screen and a serial killer just admitted to killing 90 people. I don't understand humans in this world. I just don't. My faith in humanity is, is slipping. But anyways, I have digressed. I, I'm sorry, I just can't stop smelling my hair. I just love the way it smells. And the fact that it's not like completely freaking out. i move back here a little bit so you can actually see most of my hair because my hair is quite long. And when my hair is wet, it comes down to mid butt. Even messing with it, it's not really like, it's gotten a little bit bigger, but other than that, and the top is like so smooth and I like the shine. But my hair is healthy and uncolor treated so I don't use heat on it. I don't chemically treat it so it's gonna, it's gonna be shiny really no matter what I use. But anyways that's it for today. Uh, again no video will be going up this afternoon. This is my video for today. Hopefully I won't be feeling like this tomorrow. Um, I have the Milani palette that I need to work on. I've done one makeup look with it so far. I want to do at least two more in a day to night look like I did with the other one. And then I want to do a look combined with both palettes. So I will be working on that. But right now this light is killing me. So I'm going to go. I will see you guys in another video. Hopefully you have a great day or night wherever you are. And, um, if you have any questions or comments about this, leave it in the description or leave it in the comments below. I will link the two products in the description box as soon as this goes up. I've got most of the details in there, but I didn't put links to the actual products in there. So I will link Ulta where you can look at the two products. So I will see you guys later. Bye.